everyone. This is Karen. Hello, everybody. I am Shane. Today we're looking at part one of the richness of Australia's Gold Coast, and the vocabulary words are kilometer. Kilometer. Violet ran for six kilometers earlier this morning. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Crowd. Crowd. A crowd of people gathered in front of the government building. Pleasantly. Pleasantly. Stacy was pleasantly surprised to get a second drink for free. Lucky. Mm -hmm. Relax. Relax. You need to relax. You're worrying too much about things you can't control. I always do that.、Mm. Amusement. Amusement. The swings are my favorite amusement at this park. <gasps> so we're talking about a beautiful place、yeah. that I have never been to. Well, I think Australia. <laughs> neither one of us have been to Australia, and we ha definitely haven't been to the Gold Coast. That's right. When you think of Australia, you would think of Gold Coast. Yeah, I think of golden beaches. Yeah. And swimming and, and surfing. And sunny days. Yeah. The weather. There is wonderful.、There. Girls in the bikini. <laughs> no, just kidding. Well, a little bit. Come on. Yeah. So I've never been there. You've never been there. But oh, in the winter would be a great time to go because it's summer. It's summer in Australia、so、during in, the winter months. That's here. right. So in January, January, the、yeah. weather is actually very warm and nice. Yeah. So it's an excellent time to go if you want to get away from the cold of Taiwan during the winter. You're right. And then, other than the beaches, you can also go shopping at their shopping malls, and there are amusement parks too. It's really long. Nice right? restaurants. I mean, the Gold Coast is really long, so there's so many different things to do there. I know. You can probably go for a couple of weeks, and you won't be bored. You're right.、Let's、I would、go. love to visit one day. If any of you are rich and you want to. Give us money so that we can go. We would really appreciate it. Send me an email. I think we might be able to get cheap tickets online. Okay, well, maybe, we'll see. Maybe somebody here has an airplane.、We、okay, may maybe. Okay, <laughs> enjoy. The richness of Australia's Gold Coast. Which city in the world has golden sand beaches, exciting activities for both nature and city lovers, and an average of 300 sunny days per year? It's none other than Australia's Gold Coast. With over 50 kilometers of beautiful coastline, the Gold Coast is a great spot for a seaside vacation. Today's lesson is called the richness of Australia's Gold Coast. Part one. Hi everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. Australia is one of the world's most popular tourist and travel destinations. As long as you don't mind traveling, well, flying for many hours to get there. Once you arrive in Australia, you will have the time of your life and see amazing things. That really can't be seen in many other places. Yeah, they've got a coast in Australia made of gold. Well, it's the not streets are paved、no. with gold. No, not exactly. No. It's it looks gold in the golden sunlight of、oh. the beautiful Australian climate and weather. So it is called the Gold Coast, but no, don't go there with a、gold. bag expecting、no. to fill it with gold and buy yourself a. Sailboat, no. no. But you could go on a sailboat. But you could go on a sailboat to get there. Yes, but when you arrive, the beaches will not be made of gold. Golden that, sand. That being said, they might look golden in color. There you go. Anyways, which city in the world has golden sand beaches, exciting activities for both nature and city lovers, and an average of Three hundred sunny days per year. It's none other than Australia's Gold Coast. So it looks great. There are golden sand beaches, plenty of that golden sunshine. But no, Gold Coast. Australia's Gold Coast is not made out of gold, the precious metal. Gold. That's true. But those three hundred days of sunlight every year will certainly give you a golden tan, and certainly make the land around you appear golden. And it's called the Gold Coast 
for a very obvious reason, and in this case, a true reason, the coast. It says with over 50 kilometers of beautiful coastline, the Gold Coast is a great spot for a seaside vacation. That's right, long beaches right there along the coast. When you think of coasts or you think of cliffs and then an ocean or a sea, maybe like on the east coast of Taiwan, that's what we're talking about, where the land meets the sea is the coastline and 50 kilometers is a fair amount. That's, that's a lot of coastline, yeah. 50 kilometers. That's a very long coastline and there are also some great beaches there. So what are you waiting for? Anyways, before we take a break, let's talk about the noun kilometer. Some people say kilometer, some people say kilometer, do kai e. You can say either. But what is a kilometer? A kilometer is a unit of measure for long distances. Okay, a kilometer or a kilometer is 1,000 meters. So you take a distance about yay long, multiply it by a thousand, you get a kilometer. For example, Violet ran for six kilometers earlier this morning. Hmm, that's quite a run. All right, everyone, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这次要介绍旅游景点是在南半球，它是冲浪者的天堂，也是非常著名的旅游胜地。它就是澳洲的黄金海岸。黄金海岸位于昆士兰省，那它拥有金黄色的沙滩，有超过五十公里美丽的海岸线。那不管是喜爱大自然，或是喜欢城市风情的人，都可以在那边找到刺激好玩的活动。最重要的是，它每年平均有三百天都是艳阳高照。哎，同学们听了是不是很想要搬过去住啊？要是可以天天在那边放空晒太阳就好了。好，先来看单字 kilometer。Kilometer 也有人念作 kilometer， 那这个字表示公里。好，那其中的这个 meter m e t e r 它就表示公尺。好，补充单字 coastline coastline 表示海岸线。那刚刚 Michael 老师有用到 tan 这个字 t a n tan， 它当名词表示棕褐色肤色，那么当动词就表示晒成棕褐色的肤色。解剖课文中。The richness of Australia's Gold Coast. January is a perfect time to visit because the holiday crowds have gone and the weather is pleasantly warm. Swimming, surfing, and whale watching are just some of the activities you can do there. You can also relax by taking walks along the beaches and enjoying the fresh ocean air, the sound of rolling waves, and the feel of sand between your toes. Everyone, we're talking about Australia, Australia's Gold Coast. We're going down under to the bottom of the globe, to the southern hemisphere of planet Earth. Now, because Australia is in the southern hemisphere, there's a big flip. Okay, here in the north, when it's winter, it's summer down in the south. Then, when it's summer here. It's winter down south, so for this reason, January is a perfect time to visit because the holiday crowds have gone, and the weather is pleasantly warm. January here in the north—that's a winter month. In the southern hemisphere, no, no, no. That's going to be the summer, okay? And that's why it's going to be nice and warm there in January. That's right. Those holiday crowds are the people who went to the Gold Coast. To celebrate Christmas, which, as you mentioned, is one of the warmest times of the year, but after Christmas in January, a lot of people do go back to work, so those crowds won't be so big. They'll have gone home. What is a crowd? This noun is basically just a big group of people. That's what we call a big group of people. There could be a Crowd gathering at the airport to welcome a famous movie star, a crowd of shoppers in a department store for a big sale, or a crowd watching a sporting event or some kind of entertainment show. As long as it's a lot of people, 
we could call that a crowd. For example, a crowd of people gathered in front of the government building. Maybe、mm. the president was going to make a speech, or they were protesting, or something like that. Well, however they, wh- whyever they were in front of that government building, I hope they were behaving pleasantly. Yeah, I hope they weren't. Rioting. Oh no, that's Ooh, not good. That wouldn't、that's、be a, pleasant. A at dangerous、all. crowd. There you go. So pleasant is the adjective. Pleasantly is the adverb. Here, if something is pleasant, let's say it's nice. You enjoy that thing. So let's say the Gold Coast in January is pleasantly warm. It's warm, but it's not hot. You are going to enjoy yourself a lot because the temperature is so pleasant, or because it is. Pleasantly warm, for example. Stacy was pleasantly surprised to get a second drink for free. So she wasn't surprised and then upset by this. No, it was a pleasant surprise, or she was pleasantly surprised by this. Oh, what a nice surprise! Anyways, the Gold Coast. Let's learn some more about it. Absolutely. We talked about some of the activities that you can do there. Let's get into that. It says swimming, surfing, and whale watching are just some of the activities you can do there. Since it is the coast, a lot of the activities or fun things to do involve being out on the water. Being out there on the ocean or sea, so swimming, surfing the waves, whale watching. Yeah, different times of the year there'll be lots of whales. You can get on a boat and get up close to those whales. That would be a magical experience. You can also relax by taking walks along the beaches and enjoying the fresh ocean air. The sound of rolling waves, ooh, and the feel of sand between your toes. And you so, don't even need to get into the water. That's right.、Yeah. If you if you feel seasick, just stay on the coast and enjoy walking for fifty kilometers along that wonderful coastline. It would be a great way to relax. And relax is the next word we have. This is a verb. To relax is basically just to calm down, to take it easy, to rest. This is something that people might do in the evening at home by watching TV or chatting with their friends on the internet. The weekend is made for a time for people to do things that help them to relax. Maybe hiking, reading a book, hanging out with your friends. You're not busy. You're not stressed. You're not worried. You are feeling very relaxed. As an adjective, you are relaxing. For example, you need to relax. You're worrying too much about things you can't control. Take a walk on the beach. Take it easy,、yeah. man. Take it、Chill、easy.、Out. Don't be nervous. Don't be anxious. Chill out. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. I'm very relaxed. Me too.、Mm. 澳洲和纽西兰位于南半球，那对世界上大部分的国家来说，他们是位在下方，所以在口语当中，他们有一个昵称叫做 down under。Down under. 好，那 Jeff 老师刚刚说的 Southern Hemisphere 是指南半球，其中的 Hemisphere 就是半球，它是拼作 H E M I S P H E R E。好，课文提到说，一月是造访黄金海岸的绝佳时机，因为大家都过完圣诞节，跨完年了，人潮都已经散去了，而且啊，一月是澳洲的夏天，天气温暖宜人，你可以去那边游泳、冲浪、赏金，或者是沿着海滩呢，轻松的散步。这边有三个单字 ，crowd。Crowd， 它是当名词，表示人群或是群众。那单字那句提到说有群众聚集在这个政府机构大楼的前面。Jeff 老师说，希望他们不是来闹事的。老师用到 riot 这个字 ，r i o t。Riot 当动词可以用来表达参加或是发动暴乱或者是聚众闹事。至于 pleasant。Pleasant， 它是形容令人愉快的、舒适的。那文中的 pleasantly 是它的副词 ，pleasantly 它表示令人愉快的或是舒适的。好，再看 relax，relax 是放松，它的过去分词 relaxed 可以用来形容松懈的、放松的。那相反的，我们可以用 anxious，anxious anxious, 它是拼作 a n x i o u s， 这个字形容焦虑不安的。好，那两位老师刚刚还用到一个片语动词叫 chill out， chill out 就表示放轻松。接回课文中。
The richness of Australia's Gold Coast. The Gold Coast's main entertainment area is Surfer's Paradise, but it's not just for surfers. The area has many shopping malls, amusement centers, and restaurants as well as the Q1, one of the world's tallest residential buildings. At the top of this 78-floor tower is the Sky Point Observation Deck, where people go to catch wonderful views of the Gold Coast and beyond. Okay, before the break, we learned about some of the things that you can do if you go to Australia's Gold Coast. You can go in the water, that's for sure, but you don't have to. Yes, the Gold Coast's main entertainment area is surfer's paradise, but it's not just for surfers. So if you're a surfer, it's going to be great. Paradise? It's going to be paradise. It's going to be an ideal location but you don't have to be a surfer to enjoy the Gold Coast. Now, one note, Surfer's Paradise here is an actual place. The Gold Coast itself is also a paradise for surfers. It's got some of the best surfing in the world, but if you go there, you don't have to surf. You don't. No, absolutely not. This is for those times when maybe you've watched as many whales as you can and you don't want to get sand in your shoes from that beach. So what can you do in Surfer's Paradise apart from surfing? It says the area has many shopping malls, amusement centers, and restaurants, as well as the Q1, one of the world's tallest residential buildings. Wow, fascinating. It has an interesting name too. Q1 is the name of the building. I'm not sure you can really go in, but you could certainly take pictures of it. Maybe go to the top. We'll find out about that. But those shopping malls, those amusement centers, those restaurants, great places to get a meal, see a movie, go on a ride. And, you know, they have 300 days of sun, but maybe there's 40 or 50 where it does rain. So an amusement center would be useful. Head to on a Surfer's day like Paradise on a day like that. Now, before we move on, let's talk about the noun amusement. Amusement is anything that brings fun and enjoyment into your life. An amusement park is a place you might go to have fun. There might be rides there and stuff like that. Things that allow you to have fun. For example, the swings are my favorite amusement at this park. And by the way, swings are great. My daughter loves the swings. She loves riding on the swings. The swings make her happy. They bring amusement to her life. Well, that's nice. Yes, swings are nice. Do you like to ride on the swings? I'm too big now. Yeah, that's it's true. For kids. Maybe they have man-sized swings at Surfer's maybe, Paradise. Maybe, yeah, at Surfer's Paradise. Or you could also go to the top of this wonderful Q1 building. As I said, it's a residential building. So this is a building with homes and apartments, but you can go to the top. It says, at the top of this 78-floor tower is the Sky Point observation deck where people go to catch wonderful views of the Gold Coast and beyond. Many of you might have gone to the top of 101 or Tokyo Tower, another tall building. Well, imagine doing that but having this wonderful Gold Coast stretched all out in front of you. That would be a great place to go to catch a view. Maybe catch the sunset too. Yeah, that would be great. Mm. Just stay out of people's homes no, no, don't do that. while you're there. People live there, leave them alone. Just take in the view and leave it at that. Anyways, folks, with that, it is time for us to end today's lesson, but don't go away. We'll have more on this topic next time. 在黄金海岸的郊区呢，有一个主要的休闲娱乐区是 Surfers Paradise， 冲浪者天堂。那边沿海有很多高楼大厦林立着，而且呢，有很多购物商场啊、娱乐中心还有餐厅。所以，并不是只有冲浪客才可以去冲浪者天堂哦。那文中的 Surfer Surfer 就是冲浪客。那么单字 Amusement。Amusement， 它是名词，表示娱乐或者是娱乐活动或者游乐设施。顺便补充一下 ，entertainment 这个字也很常见。entertainment 它可以用来表达娱乐或是娱乐节目、娱乐活动。那课文最后提到，那个地区呢有一栋 Q1 大厦。
它是世界上最高的住宅大楼之一。虽然我们不能随便进人家家里，可是那一栋楼呢有七十八层，它的塔楼最上方有一个瞭望台，你可以上去那边去欣赏黄金海岸，还有远方的美景。那这边有个补充单字叫 residential。Residential， 它是使用居住用的或是住宅区的。好了，以上是今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍三个文法重点。第一个是 none other than， 第二个是地方副词或地方副词片语一到句首的倒装句，第三个是 where 引导关系子句的非限定用法。首先，我们来学习 none other than。None other than 后面可以接人或事物，带有惊讶、赞叹、兴奋的语气，可以用来强调不是别人，正是什么什么，不是别的什么，正是什么，竟然是怎么样？例如 ，She ran into none other than her old friend at the concert. 她在那场演唱会遇到的不是别人，正是她的老朋友。接着。我们来学习地方副词或地方副词片语一到句首的倒装句。要强调表示地方的副词或副词片语，或者是主词带有较长的修饰语时，为了避免头重脚轻，可以将副词或副词片语一到句首，再把后方的主词和动词进行倒装。举例来说 ，A stack of magazines lay on the bottom shelf of the bookcase. 书柜的最底层放了一叠杂志，将地方副词片语 on the bottom shelf of the bookcase 移到句首，再把动词 lay 移到主词 a stack of magazines 的前方，就会形成倒装句。On the bottom shelf of the bookcase lay a stack of magazines。另外，当句中的主词是代名词时，主词和动词则不倒装。像是 "There you go," "Here they are," 等等。最后，我们来学习 "where" 引导关系子句的非限定用法。"Where" 当关系副词，可以引导关系子句，修饰表示地点的先行词。当先行词是特定明确的地方名词时，必须使用非限定用法。"Where" 的前面要加逗号。那么 ，where 引导的关系子句是用来补充说明先行词。例如 ，Jake visited Lyon, where he learned French as a college student. Jake 造访了法国城市里昂，那是他大学时期学法文的地方。句中的先行词里昂，它是特定地点，因此用非限定用法。Where 的前面要加逗号。那么 ，where 引导的关系子句就是用来补充说明先行词。以上是今天的重点整理，我们下次见喽 ，See you next time, bye. <音樂>用英语聊户外活动的五句实用句。欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠。上次我们提到户外运动，其实呢，我喜欢的不只是露营跟骑脚踏车。哦，那我们今天来跟各位谈谈更多的户外活动的使用句吧。一 ，I go bird watching every Sunday。二 ，I'll meet you at。三 ，I'm going to the beach to practice surfing。四。Don't forget to wear sunblock. 第一个是什么 ？I go bird watching every Sunday. 真的有人喜欢这样的一个户外活动。我认识很多长辈们都喜欢做这件事情哈。每个周日都去赏鸟。I go bird watching every Sunday. I go bird watching every Sunday. 这个句子非常重要，因为呢，我们讲我们自己的休闲活动的时候呢，我们会用 go。加 v i n g 的形式、嗯、哦，比如说我们去游泳哦，我最喜欢了。Go swimming, go swimming。你当然可以用 go to swim， 但是这样有点点怪啊、yeah. 哦，因为 to 加动词原形，它是表示一个目的性的。对对对。好、哦，那我们从事某个活动，活动都是 i n g 哈、嗯哦，所以呢，比如说登山健行。对。Go hiking in the mountains. Go hiking in the mountains。还有逛街，对不对？逛街哦，也是一种运动啊。当然。你的腿要非常有力才行、啊。是的。Go shopping. 
嗯 ，Go shopping， 所以要利用对对，还有 Go fishing。Go fishing 要很有耐心，对钓鱼。OK， 对，嗯、但赏鸟其实很有趣了。为什么？因为他们说鸟儿的动作很多，哦、羽毛很漂亮，大家可以试试看。听说一世成主顾家、啊，真的吗？对，對<笑>我想知道鸟如果知道它被被观赏的感觉会是什么，它应该会觉得哦哦，它、哦、动更多这样子。嗯、對好，但是如果我们去户外活动啊，总要约见面嘛，嗯、对不对、哦？我们哪里哪里碰面好？对对对对对，跟你哪边碰？英文就是 I'll meet you at 某个地点。嗯、I'll meet you at 某个。比如说啦，啊、嗯，北车碰面，捷运站碰面、嗯、这样。Yeah. I'll meet you at the uh MRT station. Oh, I'll meet you at the MRT station. I'll meet you at the Seven Eleven. 哎，这个这个点很危险，因为沿路太多 Seven。哎、嗯欸，这一条路有八间呢，你是要哪一间、啊？哪一间 Seven？OK。Okay. 好，不过我知道最近男生啊，男生女生都喜欢啦，冲浪。哎、欸，我冲过一次。冲浪。哇塞！真的。我是用爬的，因为我不会站，站不起来。冲浪呢，就是去海边冲浪嘛。对。Go to the beach and practice surfing. Go to the beach and practice. Surfing, surfing 对,对，那如果单纯呢是说我喜欢,我喜欢冲浪，就说 I like going surfing. I like going surfing. 或者是 I like surfing. I like surfing. 对对对。但是这种户外运动记得要擦防晒，不然真的会晒伤。脱皮脱到爆的哦、嗯，很可怕。那我们就说 Remember to wear sunblock. Remember to wear sunblock. 不要，呃，就是要记得。记得要擦这个防晒乳液 ，sunblock， 或者是呢 ，don't forget to wear sunblock。但我真的知道有朋友就是连冬天都喜欢去冲浪，他们不怕冷，哇，这很强哎、欸，哇，你要不要去？不要啊，算了。Don't forget to wear sunblock <笑>。冬天有也需要吗？也需要。OK。悠悠，嗯 ，Where did you go last weekend？ 哦、oh, ，I went bird watching。Actually， I go bird watching every Sunday。Really？ Yeah。Would you like to take along? Oh, I will meet you at a train station if you like to come. Thanks, but I have other plans. I'm going to the beach to practice surfing. <laughs> okay, don't forget to wear sunblock. <laughs>